Welcome to the Wellness Foundation's daily audio blog with me, Greg Perry. Let's talk about fear, the final frontier. Everyone's afraid of something, whether it's spiders, snakes, the dark, failure, strangers, or even number 13. The list seems to include every possible facet of life. Now, whilst fear can be a very useful trait in helping us to avoid threats and dangers, it's amazing how far our anxieties can proliferate and contaminate every aspect of our daily experience. Have you ever noticed that fear seems to stand in the way of our ability to enjoy life's rich array of opportunities? It hinders our progress and it steals the joy from our hearts. And it's worth remembering that fear has become one of the dominant forces in our culture. Fear seems to set the limits on what we're capable of achieving and experiencing. So we know that fear can cast its shadow on our careers, dampening our enthusiasm and derailing our determination. Just think about the way that the fear of rejection stifles our ambition. Fear, it builds walls around our hearts and it keeps others safely at a distance, corroding the comforting warmth of human closeness and emotional intimacy. Fear isolates us from others, as well as from our latent potential to fulfill our lives and express ourselves. Fear is the silent thief that steals our joy and siphons our energy. You know something? It's time to address this daily drain on our resources and learn to free ourselves from its dark embrace. There are many, many ways to deal with our fears and neutralize the influence in our lives. The most common advice is to learn to face whatever scares us. And it means exposing the fear to the scrutiny of our analytical faculties. And this is a very effective method. Fear, after all, rarely survives when it's exposed to the light of reason. And there's a good reason for that. The parts of the brain that generate the fear response are directly connected to our higher brain functions. As we turn the bright focus of logic and reason onto the fear response, our brains automatically turn down the stress and anxiety levels and then heighten our ability to reason our way past the old barriers of fear and doubt and uncertainty. Fears well recognized as a disabling force that can lead to prolonged bouts of anxiety and even to depression. By taking action and turning the spotlight on our fears, we begin to feel that we're more in control of the situation. We recognize that we're capable of taking steps to address our fears rather than, than remain frozen in a state of inertia. Taking action is one of the key steps in developing a sense of personal empowerment, and it's a very effective antidote to the old paralyzing effects of fear. It can also be very helpful to slow down and breathe occasionally and ask ourselves why we're experiencing fear at this particular juncture in our lives. The timing can reveal the underlying drives and circumstances that trigger our instinctive desire to run for cover and hide under the bed. Are you on the verge of success or an important breakthrough? Because that's usually when fear raises its ugly head and blights the proceedings. Or at least that's how fear used to turn up. That was before you decided to bid farewell to all of your shadows and doubts and anxieties. Many of our deep-seated fears can be traced to long-forgotten childhood episodes that imprinted their mark on our behaviours at a time when we were highly impressionable. These are the foundations for many of our future emotional reactions. And that obviously applies to our fears. While some of those early conditioned reflexes made sense because they're intended to keep us safe and away from harm, many of these negative reactions have become completely exaggerated and they've strayed into parts of our lives where they simply don't belong. It can also be very liberating to ask yourself who exactly is feeling the fear? Does that sound strange? Well, many of our anxieties require us to assume a particular role when we feel afraid or threatened or embarrassed or unsure. 
It's as if we have to assume a specific mindset in order to experience all our old fears. So when you catch yourself playing one of these old roles, you can see immediately that it's just like acting out a script that some unknown person once wrote for you. But it isn't real. It's a role. And that's the moment when you can make a very powerful decision not to play. This is also an opportunity for you to consider the alternatives. Whenever fear is stalking your peace of mind and sabotaging your good intentions, you can ask yourself a simple question, something along the lines of, well, what if I choose to feel positive, to feel strong, to feel completely empowered in the face of this challenge? Mm -hmm. Imagine the difference this could make to your attitude replacing the old paralyzing fear and turning your energy towards something much more positive and rewarding. This is where we should truthfully consider most of our fears as little more than habits that we developed during early childhood. I know we might have forgotten the events that sparked the fears, but the habits have endured for far too long. It's time to dismantle them, to discover a way of living that frees us from these limiting conditions that have no place in our lives, no place in our plans, no place in our goals, and no place in our ambitions. So make a clear declaration today, right now, that you're going to free yourself from the bonds of your doubts and fears and anxieties and start living your life with the freedom and personal empowerment that will help you to accomplish all of your goals and aspirations. Well, I really hope you enjoyed the audio blog because our mission is to help you to make a difference to the quality of your life. If you liked it, we'd really appreciate it if you hit the like button. And if you'd like to stay up to date with all the new material we're producing, remember to like the Facebook page, and that's the absolute best way for you to make sure you get this material as soon as we post it. Until next time, thanks for listening.